there, welcome, my name is Matthew. It's been a little bit since I posted because I took kind of a brief hiatus. It's been a crazy time. But anyhow, the last video that I posted was about shooting headshots. Now I wanna get into how I post process them. These were headshots, so kind of like a portrait shoot, like mid torso up. Um, so I need to add text right on the bottom so you can see who they are. So I'm gonna walk through how I automate that so I don't have to place each individual. I shot 30 headshots. I don't wanna have to place text for each individual one and go through the process. That would take me hours and hours and hours. So let's dive right into it. I have a bunch of pictures of cities here. Uh, you can see I have New York City here. I have Los Angeles and Chicago. I got all these pictures from Pexels, if you haven't heard of it, pexels.com. They have a lot of really free, high quality imagery. So if you're ever looking for something, check out pexels.com. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new Photoshop document and I'm gonna create it 1920 by 1080. I'll just create it standard 16 by nine. I'm gonna take one of these images, drag it in and place it. So now I have this, I can size it however I want to, but I'm gonna hit enter and just place the image here because it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna create a new text layer. I'm just right on here. This is New York City. And I'm just gonna center that all on the background. I'm gonna delete the background actually because I don't need the background. I'm just gonna center these all so that they're all in the center and then I'm gonna just go ahead and leave this like it is. I'm gonna save this. Hit okay. Okay, so I'm gonna head over to image, variables, define. I'm gonna start to define variables here. This is the text layer, you can see New York City, New York City. So I'm gonna call it name. So click on text replacement, hit name. And then we're gonna go to the next one. This is actually the image. And for this layer, you can see that we don't have the same option. We don't have the options that we need here. All we can check is visibility. So we're gonna hit okay here. We're gonna go ahead and define that text variable. And over here, right click uh, on the image layer and click rasterize layer. So now this is an actual image. It's not a smart object. You can see the little uh, smart object icon disappeared. So let's go back to our image definitions and hit define. And now you can see we have a pixel replacement. So what we can do is create this variable named image and we're just gonna leave it at the default settings. Hit okay, and now this is all set up. So I'm gonna save it. We're gonna hop over to Excel because this is where we're actually gonna create the list of data. So just open up a new blank workbook and I'm gonna call this Chicago, New York City, Los Angeles, and I think I have Seattle there as well. So those are the names. And then what I'm gonna do is over here, so I'm gonna place the full path of the files that I have over here. So the way, there's a couple ways you can do that. Um, the easiest way is actually to open up terminal, drop this in, and you can see the full name right there. So I'm just gonna copy that name out and I'm gonna drop it into Excel. There's faster ways to do this, but or there's easier there's easier ways to do this, but this is the fastest way. So what I'm gonna do is cut just copy this to all of these, and then each of these individual records are gonna have Chicago replaced on them. Okay, and then this is New York City, and then this is Los Angeles. And then I'm gonna go to Seattle, Seattle. And I'm gonna save this in the same folder, cities, hit save. Now for, for Photoshop to read it, we're gonna have to export it as a CSV. So I'm gonna do save as, go to here, CSV. And you'll see we have a CSV file here now right here. So let's hop back over to Photoshop. And the last thing we'll need are headings. So we named our variables. If we go back to our variables over here, we named our variables image, capital I, that does matter, and name, capital N, that also matters. So we're going to add a new row here and call it name and image. Save that. And then we're going to go to image, variables, data sets. Whoops, image, variables, data sets, and select data sets over here hit import and we're gonna select the file and open up settings or open up cities CSV hit okay make sure you have use first column for data set names checked and then replace existing data sets if you ha already had a data set in here uh, 
this would matter, but the first one definitely does. So hit OK. And look at that, we have our import. And so what you can do is actually, I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to go to image and we're going to hit apply data set. This will bring up this nice little window here. And you can click uh, check the preview box. And when we click on this, we see, you can see it loads New York City. And let me click on this, Los Angeles, Seattle. And the data is dynamically changing based on what I've selected. Now, to export all of these, what you're going to want to do is just save this template. Um, and what you're going to do is export data sets as files. Select that. And you're going to select a folder to export to, in my case, I'm going to create a new cities export folder. Hit choose. And you're going to probably want to just use the data set name. So that's going to be the name. So Chicago. And we can just hit OK. And it's going to export all of them. And it'll go through the data set. And you can see it's exporting them all. And now if I go over to my finder window, I can open this. And I have four PSDs. If I open these up, I have layers created. And they have they have the actual text and th this is a full Photoshop document. Nothing's weird about this. So to finish this off, what you can do is export them all as JPEG. And if we go over here to file scripts, image processor, I'm going to select the folder and I'm going to drag this folder in there. That'll select that folder, hit open. And I'm going to hit save and save, save in same location. I'm just going to save it as a JPEG quality 10. Uh, I'm just gonna leave all of these things, but if you wanted to, you could adjust everything here as necessary. So I'm gonna hit run and it's gonna open them all, export them as JPEGs, and I think we're done. You can open up the JPEG folder and you can see I have four nice files here, all named with text and with the images replaced here, Chicago, Los Angeles, New York City, and Seattle. Obviously, there's a lot more that you can do with this. I didn't really fiddle with the settings and make the images fill the whole canvas. So there's a lot you can do with it. Play around with it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Did this help you? Do you want to hear more than more about these kinds of things? Let me know. Hit me up in the comments below. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I will catch you next week.